Pete Kowalski, Westfield State Owls football. My name is Saul Cabrera from Bethune, Massachusetts, and I play center for Westfield State. Uh, Chris Saber, Methuen, Massachusetts, um, and I play right guard for Westfield State. Jake Cassidy, I live in Salem, Mass, and I play quarterback. I'm Jack Buckley, cornerback. I'm from Kingsboro, Massachusetts. Uh, last season was an a interesting season. We had some strengths, uh, our, full back, our tailback, uh, our offensive line, our offense was, uh, was really sound. Uh, we took try to take advantage of that, obviously, Trayvon Holder. Uh, all New England back, all conference back, was a great uh, uh, person in the classroom. He's a great person in the community. And on the football field, he was a dynamic individual. Uh, that was the uh, offensively, so we leaned on that, led the nation in um, time of possession. Well, it's a big spot to fill. Um, Trey was a tremendous athlete for us, like, great guy. Made a lot of plays, a lot of plays you think would be done, and he's just, like, still up. But, uh, yeah, a lot of our young guys stepping up, stepping into the role. We got a couple good transfers that are looking to make plays yep. and get out there for us. Last season we went five and five. We ended up winning a really big game at the end of the season, which shows that we could have done way better throughout the year. I think this year we got potential to fix all the errors we made and take it to the next level. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a young man like Jay Cassidy transfer that came to us. He's been playing for a couple of years, uh, has a great personality, a natural leader, uh, outstanding in the classroom, uh, great in the community. But he, uh, because of his leadership, he's able to rally guys around him and they look up to him in terms of that leadership role. He can be a calming influence. He's very, very enthusiastic and excitable. And sometimes that spills over into his play. Uh, but he, as a senior, he's more mature. He's starting to control that. When he's out there, he makes a lot of plays. Seeing him lay the lumber, see him take hits, get back up, tough kid. Uh, on the offensive line, I mentioned that there are, it's a strong suit. We have uh, an all-conference player in Chris Saba, who's been a great asset to our program. Off in the off season, showing a, a tremendous leadership role, along with Saul Cabrera, who was also uh, an all-conference player in the past. So those two guys anchor our offensive line, and we're excited to have them back. In addition, Connor Gregoire is a senior; he's a three-year player for us at tackle. And Kevin Joyce also, and Cole Weiss are also back on that offensive line. The offensive line is great. I've been with them. This is my third year, and. Uh, we all get along very well and we all can communicate to each other and let each other know what's going wrong, what's going right. And I trust all of them, obviously. Um, I'd say I have the best line in the league, in the state probably. And we have Evan Garvey and um, Ken Gallagher is actually back to help us out at receiver. We have a lot of um, younger guys stepping up that want to that get in the game and show us what they have as well, which is awesome. Evan Garvey is going to be a three-year player. He led the nation in kickoff returns uh, a couple years ago. He's a dynamic young man from Wakona High School out in Dalton, Massachusetts. Uh, and, and once again, he stepped up as a leader. Uh, very energetic, uh, a great personality, fun to be around. Um, intensity. Everyone's going 120% all the time. and. That's all you want coming from deep. Uh, we're trying to build from the ground up. So if you're a fifth year senior or a first year freshman, uh, we're going to try and work with you to get you to a spot where you can be the best you possi possibly can be. And that's what we're doing with this year's team. Uh, there's experience wise, we're missing a lot of experience. Uh, we're trying to get that through reps in, on, in practice. But overall, it's just a matter of understanding where you fit in on defense and what your job is. And we try and keep it simple so that our players can play fast. I really like our staff 
from what I watched in practice, what we've met about. Uh, they've really done a great job of, of coaching their young men in each of their positions. So I think that's going to be a real strength for us. Uh, I'm most excited to be back with the guys. I missed some of last year. And so being out back on the field was kind of a double-edged sword at the beginning. A little bit nerves because I hadn't been on the field in a while, but a little, a lot of excitement to see the guys. And once we started practicing, uh, the enthusiasm that they showed, uh, I told them the other day, was the most fun I had at practice in a long time. So we're really excited about preseason and looking forward to the challenges of the season. 2019 is a big year. It's our last year, our last chance to win and show everyone what we can do. Um, I think that we can do much better than we did last year, and I think we're in a perfect position to do exactly what we want to do and win everything. Winning a conference championship. And I'll be all. I got to leave. <coughs> Wait. Yeah, we're going to cut that part out. That's a good question, really, Kami. I'll work and set it up. <laughs> 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 Works. Oh. <laughs>